Oh, sweet. Bonfire. Uh... Kind of a message ahead, then try silence. I gotta say that the um, level design, Dark Souls 2, um, in some places, kind of, kind of iffy. Um, Okay. Was that the equivalent of ring a bell? I guess. We got. Fragrant branch of your Elizabeth mushroom. What's a branch of your? Um. And. What does it smell like? It's apparently fragrant. Restores living things from petrification. The, a fragrant tree branch with a faint sweet smell restores the life of things turned to stone. Extended inhalation of the branch's scent can lead to coughing and nausea. Huh. Comes with a warning label. All right. I guess that's something that I can use on those statues uh, that are blocking things. There's one up above that was blocking a bonfire, but there was also that other one that I know of that was blocking a lever uh, that was uh, right near Majula. What, what, what happened? Oh, I just sit and I immediately return here. Okay. You have acquired the soul of an old one. That is more than most undead can say. Sure. Okay. Let's level up. Sweet. Alright. Get some quip load. Uh, how many levels have been getting out of here? 17 to 26, so that's 9. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, in that case, let's do one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Seems legit. All right. Well, unless I'm mistaken, um, that path that I just went down uh, terminated in a victory and dead end. Uh, this is probably going to be the end of an episode right here. I'm going to go explore the area down to the uh, below here. And, but I noticed on here uh, nullify human effigies effect. Um, I remember earlier I had burned a human effigy, but that was way back in the Forest of Holland Giants. Um, and I didn't burn one here. I don't know why that's here now. Um, might have been because I was invaded by that one guy. Oh. No.
Okay. I don't know what that did, though. Alright. Anyway, we got this way down here that I opened up with the Pharaoh's Lockstone. Oh, gosh. There's a dog. I forgot about that. Is there anything else? There's a chest. Hey. Priest chime. Is that a better uh, chime? Chimney chime? What is that? Casting speed. It's got slower casting speed, but it's got better lightning attack. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, whatever. Um, I think this one's better. <laughs> it rings. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it does lightning damage? No, Belfry Luna. Okay, so this is a completely different area. Alright. Let's check out what we got going on in here. Hey, a dude! Uh, I can't lock onto him, so I'm assuming he's... Okay. Friendly. Is that Master Blaster? I never thought I'd see him beyond Thunderdome. Master Blaster. What's going on? You're a delightful little sprite, aren't you? You seem like a pretty cool dude. I can tell you and I are going to be friends. All right, Master Blaster. You have fun. He gave me a ring or something? Yeah. Okay, so this is like the Forest Guardian Covenant. Okay. Join the Covenant. This Covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the world of an invader of the Bellkeeper's domain. Oh, yay! We can do some BVP. Uh, the twin bells symbolize the bond between the two lovers who could never be united. Poor shame. Uh, the bell keepers are their eternal guardians, for that is their love. 
That is their curse. <gasps> I've been invaded by a gray spirit Ebola mancer. Ebola mancer, by the way. Fantastic name. Um... Ow! What the? I'm getting a whole lot of lag here. I win! Yeah! That totally made a whole lot of sense. Uh -huh. No clue what was going on. Um, but in the meantime, uh, Ring of the Evil Eye, uh, let's do that. Yeah. We can do some PvP. Just a little bit. I'm, I'm probably not going to keep it on all the time because, you know, recording a series is going to get in the way. Oh! What's it? I'm getting attacked by Smurfs. Okay. Skeptics, please. Try charging. Is yeah, this, this is where I want to go. Oh no! But I just got here. Oh. Let's do some PvP. Or not. Okay. What do we got? Blue tear stone ring. Um, I'm going to assume that it does the same. Yep, same thing as uh, Dark Souls One. You know what? That's all right. Uh, I should probably use this to he the heal thing to heal. Rather than the life gems. Spice. I I don't even know what that does. What I've been picking up several of those. Lowers required faith by one for two. Hmm. Spell demands devotion from caster, but using the spice makes a chosen spell attainable with one less faith. Will only work with assistance from certain person. Okay. The spice does not raise one's faith, but only obfuscates, obfuscates the requirement. Alright. That's cool. I guess. I'm going to be putting points into faith anyway, so I don't think that's going to be a, that big of a deal. Oh. 
There's another one. Whoa. Yeah, the, the guy running at me with the axe raised. I had a flashback uh, to playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors on the Super NES. Um, there were these little uh, tiny uh, doll enemies uh, that would run around. They had little hatchets. Um, they were terrifying and very difficult. Okay, uh, trust pressure is set foot. And I, oh, I fell. I guess we're maybe not invading. Okay, try lightning. Be wary of fire. Right. Can't go through there. Okay, stop doing that. There's a hole there. They put those boxes there for a reason. Let's climb up. Oh, uh, oh now we're invading. Boyka. Hello. Svetla Redgro? Okay, we're getting a lot of lag. Oh. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think we're going to have to take off that ring. Yeah, maybe some other time. Uh Oh, gosh. I've been invaded. I win. No! Dang it! I should have killed the guy. Yeah. In the few uh, videos with PvP that I've seen for Dark Souls 2, uh, this has been one that I've seen uh, a lot in. Um, N namely uh, uh, Uzi's stuff uh, his uh, Souls TV series uh, which you should check out if you haven't oh gosh Woo! Um, pretty entertaining stuff but I, I see a lot of that in this area right here I, I guess uh, this uh, makes sense because most of it's PvP. Back off! Back off! Okay, drink a flask!
There we go. Woo. Man, these Smurfs are rough. Um. Sweet. Skeptic Spice. More of that. All right. Down. You're down. Let me just Radiant Life Gem, Twilight Herb. Um let's see, is there anything else around here? Aside from that lever, which I I did fully noticed. No. Yeah. I th uh, my suspicions uh, are as such. Um, what happens if I pull the lever? Is that what you're not supposed to do in the Covenant? Is, is, is that a bad thing to do? I mean, assume that I'm assuming that's going to ring the bell. So if somebody rings the bell, somebody who's wearing the ring gets summoned to the version who rings the ring, ring, ring. There's a lot of rings. Agatha. Oh gosh. Oh geez, not this again. Okay, I think this might be a dead end. Um. Which is, I don't know if it, uh, good, good, because that means uh, I've explored thoroughly one reach of uh, this area. Except uh, there's a fog door there. I don't know how to do anything about it. Ah! Yavol. Uh, that club is on fire. Uh Okay. Um Oh, so we do ring the bell. I'm gonna ring the bell. It's gotta be done. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. But you know what? It's just something I have to do. Ring the bell before I die. I ring the bell. Okay. I'm experiencing a lot of lag, I take it. Okay. I just talked to him, make sure that he wasn't going to be angry that I rang the bell, because I rang the bell.
but he seems perfectly fine with that. All right, well, I ring the bell, it opened that gate. Uh, made that not a dead end. through here what <laughs> okay how how many three four Okay, get out of there. Okay, well, this brings back memories. Okay, oh dear. Um, jeez. Come on. It's even the same music, uh, that was used in Dark Souls 1. I remember it distinctly. Oh, gosh. Getting wrecked. Okay, another one came up. That's not good. I need to take one of them down. Okay, they're breathing fire again. Okay. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Oh, no. Well, that's a thing I'm going to have to do.